better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, we established that uh, we're in the, uh, now it's October 1st, so we're in that period of time where we uh, typically see some type of bottom form with markets moving up through December. So that's what we're anticipating. What we also know about, and we also know that uh, three of the four equity future contracts have valid uh, Gartley buy patterns that are in place. The one that does not is ZNQ. So we're paying attention to today's uh, candle formation at the end of the day. If it's a bullish reversal candle, then you've got all four that will have Gartley buy patterns. What we also know is that the markets have been in a consolidation pattern. And here we can see the consolidations, and we can see that price is still within. We can see that the NQ testing the bottom, the consolidation, the ES this morning testing the bottom, the Dow equity future contract testing the bottom. If those levels hold, you know the expression. It's uh, coined here by Tom O'Brien. I owe him a royalty when I say this. If you can't bust it to the downside, price will try to bust it to the upside. And that is really the setup as we speak right now. We've got uh, uh, Brent on the line in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? And uh, thanks for uh, being up so early. Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you this morning? Excellent. Thank you very much for asking. And uh, PFE, Pfizer, is, I believe, what you're uh, calling about. And uh, tell me how I can best help you on this. This is one I've been watching for a while. I just uh, was wanted you to take a look and see if there's some level down lower that it looks like maybe around $40 there be a decent buy point down there but want to get your thoughts on it sure sure okay so let's uh, do as we typically do folks we start by taking a look at our uh, three time frame charts here that show the current market profiles the market profiles the top of those profiles tell us where sellers reside the bottom where buyers reside and the center is where both buyers and sellers believe that it's fair value with inside that range the range being the top and the bottom so on a daily basis Brent we have Pfizer that has been below the bottom of its daily profile for the last four sessions out here what we're going to take a look at you know in a few moments to see if that was a bottom signal or not but being below the bottom of a profile suggests you go to the next level I would typically then move over to the weekly prices below the weekly profile as well looks like this will be for three consecutive weeks so that's as I go over and take a look at the uh, monthly chart so the monthly chart price is trading right now and closed above the top of its monthly profile and that's 4224 so you had mentioned a forty dollar level forty two twenty four from a profile standpoint would be the next support level if price were to close below that that could bring thirty nine twenty three thirty seven twenty two into play any questions Brent uh, before I move on to the other charts about these profile levels or anything I like that there might be some like an ABC pattern if you did it on the daily yes on that high up I guess it's around fifty two and then you can see where it came down to a little retracement back up and then Maybe on these black charts, and that's sometimes we do it on there to see what you come up with. Yeah. So the A to B, so excellent. So the A to B equals CD to the downside. The one to one level is uh, projected at the 4106 area. Now, if this is an A to B equals CD to the downside, and if we take a look at the uh, swing point out here, that swing point did volume of 32 million shares. It was passed with 37. So it's what we refer to as a confirmed A to B equals CD. If that, if we don't see some other bottom on the other charts out here, that would become the target. What I would also say 
is that this is more likely to be more than a 1 to 1A to B equals CD to the downside. And the reason that I would make that conclusion is because the retracement, and that's the B to C leg, folks, was only 32%. I mean, less than a 0.382 uh, retracement. And typically, those shallow retracements will result in an extension of that C to D leg. Not that it can't end at 4106, but uh, this has the signature of wanting to move lower, Brent. So 4106 is the one to one. 3931 is the one to 1.272. Um, any any questions about the, about that? I think that's it for that that area. Thank you. Okay, great. So let's pull over the other charts. We're just curious as to whether or not there's any kind of bottom signal out here. We'd be looking for a TD9 count. We don't have that. We'd be looking for Rhodes momentum indicator signal. We don't have that. We do see that the oscillator and change line change from green to red. That suggests that over the coming sessions, price and that level will catch up to each other. But basically, as long as price remains under that red oscillator and change line, that closed last night at 44.16. That suggests move down to 41.39. That's the next break out level. And that's on the daily time frame. The weekly chart out here, um, because with price trading below the bottom of its uh, weekly profile, that could say prices over the longer term headed back to 34.33. Um, so that's what I've got at here. So the only pattern that is in play, Brent, as we take a look at it, is that A to B equals CD to the downside for Pfizer at the moment. Today or yesterday was bar number five of a TD9 count. So we're three to five trading sessions away from that potential pattern identifying some type of bottom out there. Any questions about the daily or the weekly? There. I'm just going to stay patient. Looks like that's kind of with what she just went through. Makes sense to, to sit tight and see what happens. Yeah, I, I, I think so. You know, the only thing that, uh, that that would change Pfizer's outlook really would have to close about 4672 to say that the downward move is over out there. So, yeah, the only pattern in play right now is that A to B equals CD. So I'd be watching as price gets down towards 4106. There's a bullish reversal candle. That would be your buy area. If it don't get a bullish reversal candle, then uh, keep looking at, at it as price moves down to the 39 area. Uh, how, was your, how was fishing? Right. Any trout? Yeah. Yeah, I actually had a real good day with my son, and it was a lot of hiking. <laughs> yeah. When I came back later in the day, I, I checked my phone, and I, it just it'll keep track of how much you've covered. If you, okay. As long as your phone is on. Yes, yes. And it was close to four, fourteen miles or something was the total. Wow, oh, that's a good that that's a good day. Like, that's a that's a good workout. And I did have kind of the typical. Or the classic, uh, you know, the one that got away, the, the biggest fish I had the day to come off. It's, it's all single barbell hook, so you just have to, you know, that's just part of the deal. That, that's yeah. what happens. And I, but I had a I had a really nice fish on, and I mean, oh. I didn't fish along if I could tell it was something of size, and, and uh, yeah. unfortunately, it came off. <laughs> so uh. I thought that, but we did, you know, pile together between the two of us. I was getting close to twenty fish, so you know, round. Oh, eight, that's great! Feet, that's really you know. great! That's great! Well, uh, Brent, uh, thanks for calling in early. Uh, glad you had a great time with your son, caught some fish, and uh, enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk to you next week, I hope. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Have a great weekend. You take care. You bet. You bet. Thanks for calling in. Uh, we've got another question or, that has come in. Uh, this one coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wrote in, let me see here. Hector is, uh, is asking about the GDX. So let me get the GDX up on our screen here. And in the case of the GDX, Hector's asking the following question. He says, uh, GDX yesterday on a monthly basis closed uh, underneath the B point and did it with uh, volume. And that is correct. So the B point, let me just take a look at the monthly chart here for you. Let me expand it out just a tad. And so the monthly GDX B point of an A to B equals CD to the downside was the month of March, did volume of four point, uh, 499 million. And you can see on my uh, chart in the bottom right that the uh, volume for the month of September was 509. So yes, this is a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside based upon uh, everything that we just, uh, you know, based on how we review things. If we take a look at the weekly chart, which you didn't mention, uh, uh, you also have another confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. The B point being the week of March 1st, that did volume of 152 million shares. And last week, the volume on this, oh, I take that back, that was light volume. So you don't have a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside on the weekly chart. Now, let's remember that as we go take a look at Stevie's white background chart. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be back in a few to review the GDX, the Gold Miners ETF.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. If you're listening at 1.30, thanks so much for doing that. We recorded today's show between 8 and 9. We're going to do that uh, really, I think, through it uh, looks like uh, through the uh, end of October, through the end of this month. So for the next uh, three to four weeks out there, we'll do that on uh, Fridays. And uh, what we're doing is we're taking a look at the GDX right now for Hector and Patty. And as Hector has uh, pointed out, the uh, GDX on a monthly basis has a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. I believe really what Hector is getting at in his question is that question is, if you pass a B point with volume, does that guarantee that you're going to have an A to B equal C D to the downside? And uh, I, I wish I could tell you the answer to that was yes. I cannot tell you that that's the answer. And so uh, it's a likelihood. But look, even the weekly chart that we were looking at, which we now have confirmed that it is past the B point but with lighter volume, it could still fulfill an A to B equal C D. So even if you pass a B point, just passing the B point of the pattern. Uh, brings about the A to B equals CD. But like Brent and I were taking a look at uh, when we were looking at uh, Pfizer, Hector, we're not just uh, tied to one pattern out there. We have uh, a handful of patterns that we know helps us to identify tops or bottoms out here. The A to B equals CD pattern is one of those. And uh, we pay attention to to that on the daily time frame out here. So look, here, what we also know is we've got price below the bottom of the daily profile, price below the bottom of the weekly profile. So we also know on any bounces or bottom where resistance is. So the battles to any on any upside move inside the GDX really going to be 3032 and 3058. Now, 3058 is the level that I would be watching mostly because what we can see is prices below the bottom of a bullish structured daily profile. And any counter trend moves 
will typically find resistance at the center of those bullish structured profiles. So, Hector, if you're to see a move above, a close above 3058, that's an indication that this may be more of a bottom. Now, you're saying it to yourself right now, what do you mean a bottom, Stevie? You haven't even showed me any kind of bottom. I know. I'm about to do that. So we're going to pull over the GDX right now. And as we pull this over here, what we're going to see is we have a valid uh, Rhodes momentum indicator bottom and a valid TD9 count. Now, we can also see that yesterday price stopped at that red oscillator and change line. And that's a key level that price needs. So as far as battleground areas, 29.63 is the next one up for the GDX. If price can close above that, that would really signal to us, Hector, that you should anticipate a move to 30.58. If price is above 30.58, the next battle is at 31.09 and above that, 31.50. A close above 31.56 on a daily time frame is going to tell us about a change in trend signal. Now, that's on the daily time frame. Remember the weekly chart that we looked at where, where we saw that the B point has been passed but with lighter volume? Well, we also happen to have, this is courtesy of Basil Chapman, is wave number seven. That's letter G on my screen out here. Now, this letter G, this part of the wave, can extend. Uh, so we won't get a confirmation of this until next week. But we do know wave number sevens, are valid top or bottoming signals. Do they all work? No, not any pattern. There's not any pattern I've found where it always works out here. That's why we use uh, protective stops. We use uh, position sizing. If you use position sizing, life is going to be good no matter what. So here you are. We do have a potential uh, bottoming signal on the weekly. We know we have now a conf two confirmed bottoming signals on the daily. Whether you have two or one doesn't matter. doesn't increase the odds or anything along those lines. And the monthly time frame, we don't have anything to suggest any kind of a bottom out there. So Hector, I hope Oh, 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 the other thing, when a bottom is forming, when there's going to be some type of change in trend, what we always like to do is look at the intraday time periods. Now, this is a cash indice chart. means it trades for 390 minutes, and I like to have equally uh, time bars out here. So that means you have two 195-minute bars in a trading day. Well, it turns out on the 195-minute time frame, we have a TD9 count bottom. Price is uh, um, inside its uh, bullish structured profile, and a close above 29.67 will suggest a run to 30.33. There's 330-minute time frame charts out here, uh, but I don't have a valid bottoming signal. There was a Rhodes momentum indicator signal out here, but we didn't get a bullish reversal candle in time to complete that pattern. So we don't have a confirmed bottom on that time frame. For the 65 minute, we have a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. The 30, we already covered. No, we didn't cover that. We've got wave number seven here. We've got a TD9 count. We've got a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price cruises through the first TD9 breakdown resistance level for the 30 minute chart, gets up to the second one. That's where price turns back. And so watch 29.90. If price can close above that, tells you about a further rally out there. So uh, that's a full in-depth review of the uh, GDX sector, and I hope that that helps you out with regard to the different patterns that are going on. What we must also realize and recognize is that, and I'm going to pull over gold and silver, is that they too are going to be a significant influencer with regard to the direction of the uh, GDX. And so therefore, what we want to understand is what's the pattern inside of gold and silver? And so now when we go take a look at gold, what gold did yesterday was it completed a bull sash candle. You can see an A to B equals CD pattern that I have drawn in here. The 1 to 1.618 area was hit. And so this has a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. The reason why it's a Gartley pattern is because if we come off the low from August 9th, that was a nice move to the upside. You try to buy that A to B equals CD to the downside that gets confirmed. We did have one that was confirmed back on September 20th. Uh, that has failed. And now we have a new one that was confirmed, and that was confirmed yesterday. You can also see, I'll get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern out here. You can also see you've got a brand new profile that is formed. So resistance inside of Goldilocks is 1768, and support is 1734. So gold has a confirmed bottom. Silver also yesterday confirmed an A to B equals CD to the downside. It was a 1 to 1 1.618. Yesterday was a bullish piercing candle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the A to B equals CD pattern. So both gold and silver have generated bottoming signals to go along with what we're looking at inside the GDX. Now, in the case of silver, it has resistance at the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's at 2272. Above that, you're looking at 2318. On the right-hand side, I've got the U.S. dollar index. And, and it's possible that this could form a three-river evening star pattern today. It uh, just depends on the candle configuration. We do see that there's a new profile that's attempting to form. I'm going to get rid of the A to B equals C to here just to clean up the uh, chart for you. You'll see the new profile that is attempting to form. This is attempting to form below price. That is a bullish message. It says that the supply is down below price out here. And so the U.S. dollar index should find support at 9374. 
But don't worry, gold and silver can move higher with the U.S. dollar index moving higher. I won't go through that this morning, but you can go take a look at yesterday's archive. We covered that um we covered that in the chart patterns behind it so that you, too, can uh, see that uh, signal. So, Hector, to go along with the GDX, you've got bottom patterns inside of gold and silver. Look, if those bottom patterns fail in gold and silver, then that tells us that the GDX is likely going to go ahead and make that A to B equals CD to the downside that you and I looked at at the beginning. So thank you very much for writing in. Much appreciated. And uh, let's go on to our next question. And our next question, uh, do, 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 our next well, let's get the next question here coming in from the Tigers then from SNP. And SNP wants to take a look at ticker symbol SQ, square. So let's get square fired up here while it's being fired up there. I'll get that going on my other white background charts. And the question is, Steve, can you look at square? Just wanted your opinion on direction from here. So what we know about this S&P is uh, that price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. So we know that's not a positive. But price has found support at the top of the weekly level. So as long as price remains above 235.17, uh, it's not going to give you an indication of a significant move lower. And if price gets below, close below 235.17, that's a suggestion that price could pull back to the 280 cent and 209.39 cent level. That is its bullish structured profile. Before price would get down there, the next level of support on the monthly time frame would be 217. So now what we need to do is go take a look at Square, see if we can do this real quickly. We're go about to go into a break. No bottoming signal, and he did get a close below the hammer candle. So that would suggest S&P 209.80 could be its target. But no bottoming pattern out here inside of Square on the daily. No bottoming pattern on the uh, weekly chart. So 209.80 is what that is suggesting that price wants to uh, target. That's inside ticker symbol SQ. C Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. 
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hector wrote in, uh, uh, and a really mindful question out here. Uh, it goes like this. September only had 21 trading days. Does that make a difference on the monthly volumes as the March swing point had 23 days? Very mindful to think about that. I've never actually thought uh, that through, Hector, and I don't know the answer to that. At this stage here, I just say volume is volume. But what we want to do is, you know, in the larger picture, that might be where the GDX is headed to, you know, on that monthly chart. But we want to be mindful as well about what's going on on the other time frames, you know, the weekly and the daily, and then the intradays to really give us that signal as whether or not there's a, a bottom that's in place and, and levels that price has to overcome to really confirm that for us. So good thought there. I don't know the answer uh, to that. And uh, so so thank you and sorry at the uh, same time. We've got a question inside the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den, uh, this is for Zip. And Zip wants to take a look at CNH Industrial. And the question is uh, looking to add. Okay, so here's what we know about CNH Industrial. Right now, it closed yesterday back inside its daily profile. Notice Zip how um, notice Zip how that's a bearish structured profile. So if this is just a counter trend retracement, Price should find support and should not close below 1647. If price closes below 1647, the message there is to pull back to the bottom of that profile at the 1589 level. If price were to close below 1589, then we're looking at, uh, well, I don't know what we're looking at. Well, we're looking at a move lower because the bottom of the day weekly profile is 1572. So use 1572 as your benchmark to the downside. If price were to close below that, then you're looking at 1387. This is all profiles. Let's pull over CNHI and look at the daily and weekly time frames as well on my white background charts. What we're looking for is top or bottoming signals, anything to assist zip. So with regard to this instrument, it's really just a sideways consolidation. You can see that. I'll draw that pattern in here for you. Let me get that uh, tool. It's going to be approximate with regard to what I draw in here for the consolidation. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've missed it, kind of missed it somewhat completely uh, to the bottom. But in essence, that's what we're looking at. So I, I see a consolidation pattern more than anything else. So just a bunch of sideways movement out here. That's what the daily chart shows. The weekly chart really shows the consolidation much clearer. And the consolidation is really in between its uh, uh, TAS market profile levels, 1572 to 1710. So with regard to an entry point and something that's consolidated, much like the markets right now, the best area would be at the bottom. So if you're looking for an entry point, use 1572 as a price target, and then look for those intraday time periods and look for some type of bottoming pattern, which we don't have inside of CHNI as we speak right now for its 30 minute time frame. So hope that helps you out, uh, Zip, and uh, thanks so much for uh, the request out there. I see we've got another request here by email. This one coming in from uh, Johnny D in North Carolina. Would you please do your analysis on BMY? Absolutely. So let's go pull up the chart for bristol myers bmy again is the uh, ticker symbol and let's see what it says Oof. that uh, thing is uh, a little rocket ship to the downside now price closed below the last uh, three out of four days below the bottom of that bullish structure profile so this is really helpful because you if you were listening to what our, our analysis of uh, last stock and i apologize i forget which one that was but we talked about a when price closes, we're looking at a bearish structured profile. And here, we're looking at a bullish structured profile. When price closes below it, which it has, the last I said, the last three out of four trading sessions, yesterday being the exception to that, counter trend rallies will stop at the center of that profile. That is exactly, remember, we use the body of the candle. That is truly the essence of price. The wicks are just nothing more than extreme emotion during that time period, that candle session out there. So we use the body of the candle. And that is exactly where price stopped. Now, in the case of Bristol Myers, 
And then yesterday, that was two days ago, I apologize. And then yesterday, Price took out a, uh, a little junior swing point out there. Price is below the bottom of the weekly profiles. You're inside, you close inside the box on the monthly time frame. So what this is suggesting to us, Johnny, is that price could be targeting 55.41. Now, we want to go take a look at Bristol Myers on the white background charts just to see if there's any kind of signals for us and what to be watching for. So let's open up the daily time frame. And as we do this, we populate it. We'll see that yesterday was bar number eight of a TD9 count. We see that price is stretched. It has generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. And Brister Myers, Myers could generate some type of a relief rally uh, that could begin today, could begin between today and Monday. And that's just simply based upon that TD9 count. We know that the low that the TD9 count first has got to form bar number five today. What does it need to do? I'm, I'm sorry, bar number nine today. What does it need to do in order to generate that? It must be a close below 59.84. If there's a close above 59.84, well, then uh, that pattern will be negated. The roads meant to indicator signal will not be negated, but that's what you'd be looking for. And then we'd be looking for a counter trend rally. Of course, you're still using that 60.66 level as a key level that price would need to overcome. If it does overcome that, then what we're looking at, Johnny, is a move up to the top of the profile, 61.57. A close above that would say... Man, this is going to be a relief rally that takes you up to 65.14. Maybe it's more than that. Let's look at the weekly chart. What kind of signal do we have on the weekly time frame? Well, on the weekly time frame, we're only in bar number six. And the weekly suggests that price is going to pull back to 56.68. 56.68 is a prior TD9 count uh, breakout resistance level. Um, that's just a target. Will it hold that level? Maybe, maybe. But you're in bar number six. So right now, Bristol, Ma Bristol Myers suggests that it wants to head lower. You do have some signals that point that you could get some type of relief rally in play between now and uh, between now and between yesterday, really, and uh, Monday out there. So, uh, Johnny, I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in and uh, have a, a great weekend. I believe there's one other question that has come in. Yeah, there's one other here. This is for uh, Tony in... Uh, Pennsylvania, Ludwig's Corner, Pennsylvania. Never heard of that, but uh, I'll look it up on the map. And uh, thanks so much for writing this. So uh, what uh, Tony wants to look at, can we look at VICI? We absolutely can. Uh, let me get that going here on my white background chart for VICI. There we go. Let's go see what Vicky is uh, communicating to us this morning. So as we pull this up, on the white, on the uh, we can see prices below it's daily profile price closed. Well, the weekly is not the week is not over. That's a bullish structured weekly profile. So, Tony, first thing to watch today is does uh, Vicky Properties close below twenty nine twenty nine? If it does, then that suggests that price should pull back into the twenty five thirty nine to twenty six twenty eight level. Again, we're just going profiles. We go daily to weekly and then to uh, monthly. And that's what we've done here. Now we're going to take Vicky and uh, put her on the white background charts. Because what we're looking for is any kind of bottoming signal. And as we take a look at this, we don't have that on the daily time frame. You're in bar number three. No road momentum indicator signal that's been triggered here. You're below breakout levels. So this really looks like this wants to head lower. If we take a look at the weekly time frame charts. We populate this. We're going to see no bottoming signal here. So that suggests uh, headed lower. So when it comes to Vicky, Vicky wants to uh, head uh, lower, lower to where you know there's probably an A to B equals CD pattern on the uh, daily time frame. But right now, we don't really need to do that. We can just simply use our monthly profiles as the likely next price target areas. And that's at the 2539 to 2628 level out there. So we've been through all the questions in the den. That's a beautiful thing. All the questions by email. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go see what the... Uh, markets are doing. you got Dow Futures up 88 right now, S&P's up 8, NASDAQ up 7, Russell 2000 up by 7, Gold's up a buck 70, Silver up three, 37 cents right now. We'll be back in just a few. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a request here to take a look at ticker symbol A-E-A-E-Z-S. Uh, Atenera Zen Terrace Inc. out here. The question is, where are the resistance levels? So as we take a look at the profiles, price closed above the top of the daily profile yesterday. That's bullish. Your next resistance zone, so the counter trend rally, if it's only a counter trend, uh, will not close above 87 cents. That's the center of the weekly profile. Price closes above that, you're looking at 99 cents. The monthly chart, as you pointed out when I punched, po posted this up on the screen, looks good because you got price above the monthly profile. Now, if you're wondering, why did price stop where it did at 75 cents? That would be a good question. Well, we can answer that. And we can answer that because we know where the TD9 breakdown levels are. The TD9 breakdown levels, let me pull this back here to the left a little bit, was right at 75 cents. So, you know the uh, rule out here. This formed a nice TD9 count bottom, a nice Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. Price got up to that resistance level of 75 cents. That's the first key level, uh, Dan, that you want to see price close above. If you close above 75, you go up to 89. If you close above 89, uh, you get up to uh, 109. That's what the daily time frame uh, tells us. If we look at the uh, weekly, and the, the reason to really point that out and show that, I didn't come up with it, uh, Dan just asked about the ticker symbol, is is the importance of understanding those breakdown and breakout uh, levels. And folks, I teach that to you. So if you, and you really want, if you're a trader, you really want to understand these tools, you can subscribe to Mastering Probability for 29 days, it won't cost you anything, and uh, you'll learn this pattern and, and many more out there. So take advantage of that while that opportunity is available on a weekly basis cases out here there's nothing else really to report on so uh dan i hope that that helps you out so folks let's uh, not forget that the market that we are in right now is nothing more than a consolidating market and consolidating markets and we can just take a look at those as soon as i can get back to wherever i put that uh, maybe right here no right there oh man steve-o come on 
Is it here? There we go. So here's our consolidating markets out there, and uh, they're very difficult to uh, to uh, trade out there. And the cool thing, though, is if you break the consolidation, which the NQ is threatening to do this week, we then have a measured move price projection. It's called equal to or greater than a consolidation. Folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming lined up. Thanks for joining me here at 8 o'clock, and have a, a fantastic Friday, fantastic weekend. We'll see you next week. <laughs>